life in Afghanistan was very simple, but yet be very beautiful. The Afghan culture always was very rich. The family was very important. It was the center of everything for us. And we were raised by an, a large number of extended family members. Life in Afghanistan, for some people, um, it still goes on. But the, the issues are there's a lot of them or a lot of my colleagues are just staying at home and not doing anything. Universities are not open. Banks are running out of money. But at the ATM, only a minimum of uh, 200 Afghanis people can take out. That's equivalent to a $2.50. And so if you have a large family of 10, how are you going to survive with, with $2.50, you know? Afghanistan is located in a, in, a, in, a, in a part of the world that is surrounded by uh, hostile neighbors, uh, by, by um, you know, by also it's, it's, it's just been isolated from other, other, other areas for a long time. Taliban actually has invaded Kabul. This is the fourth time they invaded in 92, and then again in 96. Actually, they took power in 96, and they stayed until 2011, and then, of course, now. Um, but the 9-11 is an important uh, and a sad time for all of us in the U.S. is because we remember that, that major incident. But problem and turmoil in Afghanistan started way before that. I've been gone 15 times since 2002, and I have projects there. I see, I see progress in education. I see progress in, in media, journalism. I see progress among the artists. Um, but then by and large, there's not anything else happening in the country. I worry about the fact that the United States and its allies were the major employers. And they employed thousands and thousands of people in Afghanistan. It's a driver, it's a cook, it's a... Uh, is a fixer, is a, a translator, you name it. And there were multi bases in Afghanistan uh, built by by U.S. and its allies. So all those people, not everybody could leave the country and come here. Uh, but they they would be without job. For them, it's also a sense of uh, betrayal by by their own government, by their own president a sense of um, abandonment by the United States, um, a sense of uh, uh, being afraid of what Taliban are going to do to them. I think the uh, United States and its allies needs to rethink about what to do, how to uh, you know, make sure that these people survive. The nation will to not totally collapse. I mean, I, I, of course, as, a, as an individual, as an Afghan-American, I, I always have a hope. But at this point, things are so confusing and so many uh, uh, issues. Uh, you know, they, I don't know who to blame, whether we have to blame our former president for creating a, a world stage for the Taliban, or we have to blame our president, president for having an AST withdrawal or blame the, the lack of leadership of the Afghan uh, government. And, I mean, a lot of money was spent to build the armed forces in Afghanistan, but the, at the end, they did not perform. I'm not sure what's going on. I think I'm not the only one. This is the, uh, the mind, in the mind of all of us.